All right, this is my unboxing assembly and initial impressions of the AgriFab utility dump cart. Uh, I'll be using it for a four-wheeler. This is the 750-pound capacity trailer. It's 46 inches by 30 inches, 12 inches deep. Um, it seemed to fit the bill of what I need for a very reasonable price. So let's unbox this thing and see how much assembly is required. All right, so let's take a look first here before we move any further and see why we chose the trailer we did. So looking at Home Depot's website, you can see they have several options for garden trailers, ranging from about the $200 range and on up. What you do notice right away though is the ones at the lower end of the price range are pretty small, light duty units, really with not a lot of capacity and frankly not that useful. Then looking at the heavier duty ones, the ones that are more capable and useful, they go up this range. And of course, brand name ones as well that you're just paying for the color. So looking at that tractor supply, I noticed this AgriFab 750 pound steel cart that we ended up with, and they had it for $230, big deal. But during this COVID-19 quarantine, I always check Amazon and lo and behold, they had the same unit for $200. Amazon Prime shipped to your door. I think I got it for $199 in the end. Put a link in the description. It was a great deal. Shipped to your door, 200 bucks. Three shirts. That's nice. All right, there's your tools pliers, flathead screwdrivers, 7 16 half inch, and 9 16 wrenches. Seems pretty straightforward. Let's get started. And there we go. That took about, I'd say an hour and a half, hour and 20 minutes to finish. Overall, I feel pretty confident that it's gonna be a strong trailer. Obviously, I'm not gonna put a thousand pounds plus in there, but the rated 750 pounds, yeah, I'd say easily. I like the, uh, like the tires, they seem pretty decent quality. Greasable axle is nice. I think my biggest question is going to be this uh, spring spring release thing here. See how reliable that's going to be after kicking on it with some serious weight in it. I don't know. Seems like that uh, that could be a weak point. If it becomes an issue, probably just either weld it or bolt it right down to the thing, and it will no longer be a dump trailer. The rear gate just lifts in and out in these tracks here, which it's not terrible. Um, so the, uh, the body's in two halves, so there is a seam there. It's a pretty tight seam, but, you know, fine sand, if you're hauling sand around, it's probably going to leak. 
as with the back gate. So, but that's uh, that's it. Not bad for the price.